Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel Media. We're going to start part two of our Epoch base building tutorial series. And uh, you can see I've got some stuff built. You know, last time we put up some cinder block walls and this uh, garage door, which is locked, and you can unlock it and open it up. So now we're going to do a little uh, base building. We're going to have this opening through the wall and you'll drive through this area right here here and you'll have structures on both sides and to make things easy we're going to show you what we did we're going to mirror both sides so we've got some floors a couple uh, window walls there's a doorway right here that you can open that you can open and lock as well if you want a little extra security go inside there's a stairway up and then a little platform that's all we're going to do in this episode that'll give you some of the basics of uh, putting up walls and windows and flooring and uh, we'll start with the basics so we'll go chop some wood I know this is very exciting but uh, we should be able to get what we need out of one of these trees so just walk up to a tree and uh, start chopping so let's uh, choose something smaller right click on your axe and harvest that wood we'll see how many we have to get out of this we're actually only looking for enough to build a, a workbench and uh, this is going to form the basis of everything you do. Wood, 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 scrap metal, and wood. So it's in here somewhere. There it is. Get our six piles of wood as a Chinook flies overhead. There he is. We won't be needing to go out there again, so we'll just close these doors. Make it a little easier to just walk around. Less likely to get shot. I'm just shot out here. We're working on stuff. Uh, there we go. A little slow. So before we build anything, like I said, we're going to uh, build something to build something. So we're going to grab a couple more pieces of wood here. You see I've got quite a bit to just do some basics. So what we're going to do is build some lumber first. And you right click on the wood and you craft lumber. Now the system works is that it will continue to create more lumber until it runs out of supplies. So you'll just go through the process and uh, you'll get all your lumber that way. And that's been a change from 2.0 to 2.1 is that you used to have to click on this stuff. It's horrible. So we got uh, two lumber and now we're going to make some plywood, craft that plywood. Retrieve our lumber here and we're going to craft a workbench. And when that's done we'll go ahead and set it up. Now. I always like to set them up right next to the uh, vehicle you do most of your crafting out of so that uh, you can just stand here, grab your supplies, craft what you need within the radius, the active radius of the workbench. As we discussed in a previous session, it's uh, page up, page down to lower it, uh, Q and E to flip it 180. There you go. I'm going to flip it again. And space bar to start building.
Okay, so we have that done. Let's go ahead and come over what we're doing. So we're going to see we want to come one out this way and one out that way. So we're going to need a couple floors. I've already pre-built most of this stuff, but we'll go ahead and build one quarter wall or one quarter floor ceiling so we can complete that and then we have others as we need it so we don't have to spend time just building stuff. So for building a quarter floor we're going to need three lumber, three plywood, and a supply crate. Now you can see right click on a craft floor quarter There you go. So you can set this down if you wanted to and build it if you uh, wanted to anywhere you want, but we'll save that for later. We'll just go ahead and cancel that out. <clears throat> what we're looking for is to build a full floor. So we're going to need three more of these. One, two, three, since it's three quarters. And we're going to craft a wooden floor half. Now one of the interesting things about supply crates is that as you build more pieces, combine them together, you get the supply crates back. And we're going to build two halves and we'll end up with uh, two half pieces and two supply crates. And we'll find, there they are, put those back and craft a wood floor. So this will actually give us a wood, a whole wood floor and we'll get back another supply crate. And you're going to need those supply crates later on for different things but at least we've got the wood floor for now and we can go ahead and set it up. Now one of the things I like to do is come over to the section I want to build. Let's grab another one just to make this fast. And through the magic of editing I have two more floors ready to go. So here we go. We'll set the first one down. I always like to stand on top of the platform so you can see it a little more clearly. We'll page down a little bit. We'll generally try and go out to the disappear and then come back up a little bit. Look down at it. Looks like the gap's almost gone. We'll call it good right there. There we go. So we'll set up another one right here. Try to make this fast. That looks pretty good. We'll call it good right there. So when we do this, we're going to have a little overlaps and whatnot. And you have to just remember there's large wood walls and there's normal wood walls. And they take up different distances because you notice it's not perfectly square. They're kind of rectangular in shape. One side's longer than the other. So you got to kind of have to look at it. But we'll go over and uh, craft a just a regular wood wall like we did before three lumber three plywood and a supply crate actually let's back up a little bit so we'll take this out some of you may not know how to make a supply crate let's uh, grab some scrap metal there you go craft supply crate so you get that and then you can start building your walls we'll put that back And what we're doing on this is crafting wall third. I 
And then you put together three of these and you have a wall. It's simple enough. You can craft uh, normal wood walls with uh, windows and doors, or you can craft large wood walls. We're going to craft a large wood wall, so we're going to grab an extra lumber and an extra plywood. Put our supply crates back. Craft large wall. Good. That'll work. We're going to grab another one because we're going to need two of these for the first two walls and we'll go over and do this real fast. Flip it around so the studs face in. Now you can see as it goes transparent through the wall and kind of gives me an idea where I want to what's straight, what's not, and all that good stuff. So that looks pretty good right there. Just check down. Uh, looks, looks acceptable, I think. So we'll just punch that right in. Oh, forgot to flip it again after I raised it. That's okay. Nothing's perfect in Epoch. It is the apocalypse. Now I'll come over and set up that other wood wall. Again, that looks pretty good. We'll call it uh, flush there. This isn't perfection. This is a tutorial. You see on this one I got it right where the studs face in. That side I'm not too worried about because it's just facing a brick wall. Who cares? Now you can see on our test wall here, we have a window face in the next one. So we're going to build a window wall, and then we're going to build a wall with a door. We'll grab a large wood wall there, and we're also going to need a windshield glass. And windshield glasses, obviously, you can get from loot spawns, stripping other vehicles, or just uh, putting together or tearing down... Uh, roadway scrap. So we already have the wall so and a window, so we craft a window. A window wall. We're actually going to need two of those. So we'll get two of them. Remember on our template we need one here and it looks like we also need one on the other side of that wall. So we'll do this one first on the far side. Flip around. Now if it hangs over a little bit into the other wall that's not a big deal. We're more looking for straightness than anything else. And you can see on the left side it looks pretty good. And they'll just kind of merge in. If they don't look perfect, that's okay. We'll build this wall. And you see there's kind of glass in there. We've tested this out. It does prevent a little bit of damage, but don't stand in front of it. It's just a portal to look out, and it's also a bullet hole, a bullet uh, portal for things of lead nature to come in. There we go. Now we need another one over here. Flip around. Just 
check alignment here. Go this way. It looks pretty good right there, so we'll go ahead and build that. Okay, kind of build, blends in a little bit. You don't really see any problems there. Now you can see into the other building. Now the last thing we need is on our template we have a wall with a door in it. So we'll close that door. Let's see, we'll throw a lock on that later. Yeah, it's a little straight, a little crooked, but that's okay. We're doing this fast, we're not doing this perfect. So grab one more large wood wall. Now there's nothing special to making this a, a doorway. You can just you don't need any extra parts, just craft doorway. And you're done. Go put this in. Flip it around so the studs face in. Back a little bit, or a little bit, and good enough government work. So there's our wall with the doorway. As we finish up our build on this, we'll see that we need one more thing to actually put a door on here. So uh, we'll look at upgrade large do large wall doorway. So there's a missing plywood. Okay, we'll go get some plywood. Grab some lumber as well, just in case. I can't remember the, all the recipes. And upgrade our large wood doorway. Yeah, there we go. Did that use the lumber as well? Yep, it sure did. So it saved us a step by putting that, grabbing that extra lumber. Now, on our template, we have a stairway. We're going to build a stairway real fast. This is actually the trickiest portion of this, is getting that stairway to fit in correctly and do all that stuff. But uh, what we're going to need first is to build that stairway. So we're going to need eight lumber. There's eight. I'm going to run out of space. Better get rid of the blood bag. And a supply crate. Remember all those supply crates you made? You need them. For lots of things. Craft wood stairs. There we go. And you can see also craft wood ladder. that does the same things. If you just want to go straight vertical and no uh, horizontal, craft that wood stairs. And there we go. So let's put that in. Now, on the other one, it's kind of positioned right in the center, and I usually will do that kind of the same way. I have it right up against the... Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, MI7, for ruining the recording. Put that. Build wood stairs. You see it's going the wrong way, so we'll just use our Q&E to flip that thing around kind of keep it straight as much as we can. Use your alt to look at it. Looks pretty good right there. I don't see it peeking out the back side. So we'll call it... Center it up. We'll call it good right there. One more peek at it. Looks pretty good. Give it a little twist and build. There we go. Now, comes the trickiest part is getting that little landing up there so it fits in the space and then you can use that to build the rest of the steps off of. We're going to go grab another quarter panel of wood 
quarter panel of floor. And here we are back. We got our quarter panel of wood. Quarter panel of floor. We'll build that quarter panel. You can see it's, oh, it's way far back. Well, we'll, we'll have to fix that. We'll raise it up. As fast as we can. There's a time limit on this. Raise it up. pretty good we'll build it there. You know, nothing's perfection but it's at least semi-level with the walls. It could have been a little tighter. It's hard to see sometimes but you can see you can walk over it no problem. Little gap no problem. So we are on a server restart and uh, I'll go ahead and sign off here so this has been Cal from Dirty Weasel media and you can reach us at dirtyweasel.com and on Utah YouTube on Dirty Weasel Media. Hope you enjoyed part two and uh, remember kids find some zombies that shoot today.